it happened. Perovskite solar cells finally hit the market. Solar cells have changed the meaning of carbon-free energy. A recent development in the field has filled scientists with the hope of getting a low-cost, efficient, and durable solar system in every house in the U.S. So what are these cells? What are their life-changing features? In this video, we will look at the game-changing innovation of perovskite solar cells, which scientists have been studying for many years. What are perovskite cells? Perovskites are artificial substances that are identified by their crystalline structure. They can be employed in cells alone or in combination with other technologies, such as those we use in current crystalline silicone solar cells, because they typically cover surfaces quickly. When combined with silicone subcells, these perovskite semiconductors may produce energy from the sun's energy-dense blue spectrum, resulting in efficiency levels of up to 30%. Perovskites are designed to be the perfect material for every application because they are competitively efficient, thin, and light enough to use almost anywhere, and inexpensive to make. Researchers have been eager to commercialize them for this reason, but there have been a few practical challenges standing in the way of perovskite's effort to match with silicon cells. Let's take a look at the advantages perovskite cells offer. Solar energy has several benefits, and one of them is that perovskite can be produced using inexpensive industrial chemicals and common metals rather than the pricey raw ingredients needed to make other silicone alternatives. Additionally, photovolactic devices might be readily printed on a glass or other surfaces using perovskite-based materials, and that is less expensive than using more complicated processes to create thin film solar cells. Perovskites are a hybrid material that not only performs well, but also benefits from the ability of organic solar materials to be used as liquid solution. Solar cells may be produced in large quantities and for much less money than those made today from silicone by spraying a liquid coating of perovskite over a substrate material. Due to the perovskite cell's high charge carrier motilities and lengthy diffusion lengths, photogenerated electrons can travel great distances without losing energy. Because dense solar cells can conduct electrons more easily, they can absorb more light and produce more electricity than thin ones. The color of solar cell can be changed to any desired color by changing the compound composition. A building integrated solar applications become more appealing. This gives the cells the major advantage of being able to be manufactured in an aesthetically pleasing manner, which may result in consumers preferring to place them on their roofs. Additionally, they can be processed as extra layers on top of silicone panels, where color alteration can be employed to enhance the most cutting-edge panels now available. The development of perovskite solar system module that can be withstand for years of exposure to the elements is still in the research and development stage. But one thing is certain, perovskite solar cells have been a huge potential, and if their potential can be discovered, solar energy's capabilities could undergo a complete revolution. However, there are some disadvantages to these cells. Durability and Stability Perovskite solar cells have demonstrated competitive power conversion efficiencies with potential for higher performance, but their stability is limited compared to leading photovolactic technologies. Perovskites can decompose when they react with moisture and oxygen or when they spend extended time to expose to light, heat, or applied voltage. To increase stability, researchers are studying degradation in both the perovskite material itself and the surrounding device layers. Improved cell durability is critical for the development of commercial perovskite solar products. Early perovskite devices degraded rapidly, becoming non-functional within minutes or hours. Multiple research groups have now demonstrated lifetimes of several months of operation for commercial grid-level electricity production. SETO is targeting an operational lifetime of at least 20 years and preferably more than 30 years. The operational lifetime is a major area of attention for the perovskite PV research and development community. Several methods are also being considered to better understand and address stability and deterioration. Some of the efforts made include improved surface treatments to lessen the reactivity of the perovskite surface, alternative perovskite materials and formulations, 
alternative device surrounding layers and electrical contacts, advanced encapsulation materials, and strategies to reduce degradation sources during fabrication and operation. Power conversion efficiency at scale. Periscite PV cells have rapidly improved over the past five years, surpassing nearly all thin film technologies and small area lab devices in terms of power conversion efficiency. High efficiency devices, however, haven't always been reliable or practical to manufacture on a large scale. Maintaining these high efficiencies and achieving stability in large area modules will be crucial for the wide scale deployment of perovskites. The need for lightweight high power devices in the mobile, emergency response, or operational energy markets may make continued efficiency improvements in medium area modules useful. Perovskite solar cells have shown remarkable progress in recent years with rapid increases in efficiency from reports of about 3% in 2009 to over 25% today compared to about 25% in single junction perovskite cells. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory by altering the material composition, perovskites can be tailored to respond to various sun spectrum hues and numerous formulations have shown excellent performance. Due to their versatility, perovskites can be coupled with other differently tuned absorber materials to increase the output of a given device. A tandem device architecture is what this is. Tandem devices can potentially have powered conversion efficiencies beyond 33%, which is the theoretical cap of a single junction PV cell thanks to the use of multiple PV materials. Perovskite materials make ideal hybrid tandem partners because they can be tailored to make use of the sections of the solar spectrum that silicone PV materials can't use very efficiently. A perovskite perovskite tandem can also be created by joining two perovskite solar cells with various compositions. Perovskite perovskite mixes may be particularly competitive in the mobility, emergency response, and defense operations sectors due to their high power to weight ratios and versatility. Manufacturability the layers of materials used to construct perovskite solar cells are either printed, coated with liquid inks, or vacuum deposited. It is challenging to produce homogeneous, high-performance perovskite material on a wide scale because the efficiency of big area modules and small area cells differs significantly. The solution to this problem, which is still a hot topic of research in the PV field, will determine the direction of perovskite manufacture in the future. Considerable attempts are being made to apply scalable methodologies of perovskite production, yet many of these processes utilized to create lab-sized perovskite devices are difficult to scale up. There are two main forms of production for thin film technologies. Sheet to sheet. Device layers are deposited on a stiff basis, which usually serves as the finished solar module's front surface. Roll to roll, device layers are applied on a flexible base that can later serve as either the interior or exterior of the finished module. Perovskites offer the potential for more rapid capacity increase than silicone PV if these scalable production methods can be used to produce them consistently. Both of these procedures are well established in other industries, so scaling costs and risk can be further decreased by utilizing existing knowledge and supply chains. Technology Validation and Bankability The commercialization of perovskite technology depends on validation, performance verification, and bankability. The ability of financial institutions to fund a project or proposal at fair interest rates. Different testing procedures and a lack of field data have made it difficult to compare performance across perovskite devices and to gain confidence in long-term operational behavior. Testing procedures for solar PV devices for the current dominant PV technologies have been devised. They test silicone and CDTE solar cells, which degrade significantly differently from perovskite technology indoors using techniques that could also predict their performance outdoors. Are solar cells commercially available? Right now, perovskites are not available in the market. However, many research companies are making an effort to commercialize them. Almost all perovskite solar cells are currently created by researchers at facilities like the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, NREL, who then test them for capacity to produce solar electricity as well as their long-term stability endurance under typical environmental conditions. 
Most of these test cells are postage stamp size and are not yet available for purchase by the general public. However, other businesses assert that Perovskite's widespread commercialization is only around the corner. One such business, Oxford PV, boasts that near completion of their Perovskite silicone tandem cells with exceptional efficiency. Oxford stated in subsequent press releases from the latter part of 2020 that solar panels manufactured with their cells would hit the market in 2023. Their items might be available for purchase by homeowners very soon if they are successful in scaling up as quickly as they anticipate. Another business, Sol Technologies, is now seeking licensed partners for its kinetic solar blinds, which incorporate inkjet printed perovskites added to wide-bladed Venetian-style blinds. This building's architectural design allows low-level sunlight to penetrate in the mornings, evenings, and during the winter but blocks out direct sunlight during the summer. What is cooler is that it is a self-working design. So think about all the innovations we could do with the solar cell. This ends our video for today. Tell us what you think about this new solar cell technology. To stay up to date on the latest innovations, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.